Chapter 68 At two in the afternoon on Thursday, June 27th, the day after his arraignment, Aaron Hernandez was driven to the Bristol County Courthouse in Fall River for his bail hearing. Bristol County Assistant DA Bill McCauley described the argument Hernandez had had with Odin Lloyd. He admitted that the police had not recovered a murder weapon, which they believed to be a forty-five Glock. Hernandez seemed to be holding a Glock in surveillance footage taken from his house. The police had recovered a clip of forty-five ammunition from a Humvee that Hernandez owned. They had found forty-five bullets in Hernandez's apartment in Franklin, and, McCauley said, a photograph had emerged of Hernandez holding a Glock 45. James Sultan, who was one of Aaron's lawyers, pointed out that Aaron had no criminal record. But Hernandez did have a home, a fiancé, who was there at the hearing, and an infant daughter. Aaron's celebrity status would make it hard for him to flee justice, Sultan argued. Moreover, the Commonwealth's case against his client was weak. There were no eyewitnesses to the murder, the evidence was entirely circumstantial. Mr. Hernandez is not just a football player, but he is one of the best football players in the United States of America, Sultan said. He's a young man who is extremely accomplished in his chosen profession. Aaron would post a large cash bail and agree to house arrest and a GPS tracking bracelet. He wants to clear his name, Sultan assured the court. Judge Rene Dupuis was skeptical. She pointed out that it was rare for bail to be granted in first-degree murder cases and called the circumstantial evidence against Hernandez very, very strong. This gentleman, either by himself or with two other individuals that he requested come to the Commonwealth, basically in a cold-blooded fashion, killed a person because that person disrespected him, Dupuis said. If that's true, and based upon presentation it seems to be, I'm not confident that type of individual would... He obviously doesn't adhere to societal rules. The idea that I can release him on a bracelet and he would comply with court rules is not something that I am willing to accept. Shyana burst into tears when bail was denied. Once again, Aaron betrayed no emotion.